we're gonna we're gonna re record rec record this video. Right. I'm gonna mute you guys because it's gonna be easier that way. Uh, uh, huh. Uh. Uh. Good morning, guys. My name is OCD, and welcome to a little explanation video. Uh, since a lot of you guys are asking me, and I'm getting uh, I'm not sick and tired, I'm just. I've said it a couple times, and I've said it in a bunch of videos. I said it during my stream multiple times. Why I'm going Riftwalk. Yeah, I think that'll look cool, right? Um, basically, let's get to the let's get to the page. Let's get to the the video games. Um, basically, I'm sitting at a Baleful Stage Ten X and a Seraphs Stage Seven. Um, as you guys know. Baleful's effect is cleave damage increased by 10%. Seraph's damage, Seraph's axe at stage 10 is fury cooldown decreased by 30%. That's what I can, I can pretty much get Seraph stage 10 now. Um, I just need a couple more forging orbs. I need three more forging orbs, uh, looking for a guild bonus, forming all that peaches up and then hitting, hitting stage 10. Uh, the reason why I am going Riftwalk Stage 1 is because I'm looking towards the future of Blade and Soul instead of just having a crap ton of damage right now. Um, <clears throat> in my head, uh, I do not have the Soul Badge or Mystic Badge that I want right now. Uh, basically, I'm going for the Eternity Soul Badge, uh, which... Triggers Cobalt Effect for 3 seconds while using Stone Shield. Wrath is available for use during Cobalt Effect. I'm pretty sure, I was told, that this is not when you put down the shield. So you're actually able to use the shield if you need it. Once you release the shield, once you break the shield, uh, that's when the Wrath is going to be available. I will do testing later on when I get this. But I am at 20 out of 45 beats for this. Um, just take some, some water because I'm... This, this is just an answering video. This is me talking to you guys. I'm not supposed to be... Yeah, don't worry about it. Well, that will be my soul badge. Which in the future, I can mix it with... Well, fuse it with the smash badge. So not only do my stone shields break... <clears throat> uh, once my soul shields break, I get three seconds of wrath. Uh, my smash, every time I hit my smash, it, uh, it triggers three seconds of wrath as well. This one I already have. This one I am using. So Wrath. Keep that in mind. Wrath. I'm going to be Wrathing a lot. Because with my Stone Shield, it'll be every 24 seconds. If I use it a couple times, it'll be maybe every 18 seconds. So it's another 3 seconds of Wrath there. Um, in Fury. 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 Remember that. Fury. Uh, which is going to be a 30% decrease in CDR. If I go Seraphs stage seven, oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. Shh, that actually scared me. Don't worry about it. I'm okay. Shut up. If I put on my Seraph sax and hit E, my cooldown is about it was 35 seconds. And this is at stage seven. At stage ten, it goes down by another four seconds, around four seconds, right? It's going to be like maybe 31 point something seconds. Um, and that's the cooldown with Fury at stage 10. Why I'm going Riftwalk is because that has Fury cooldown still on it. And the Sky Shatter effect is basically the same as Raven effect. Um, but Riftwalk just doesn't have the... Uh, where is it? Come on. Scroll scroll out. Come on, OCD. It doesn't have the uh, Earth or Shadow damage on it. Uh, so elemental damage is gone, but it's replaced with fury cooldown by 30%. So not only... <clears throat> you remember the wrath? That wrath thing over there? Not only am I going to be able to wrath on smash and stone shield, but for 6 seconds in fury, I have wrath. So, more wrath... And this is my next point. This is not the amulet that I want, or mystic badge. I want this one. 
So more wrath equals more mighty cleave cooldown. So this gives you four seconds. Wrath already gives you two seconds off on us on, on mighty cleave cooldown. So every four wraths I do will land a mighty cleave. Remember all the wrath that I had with, with Stone Shield and Smash? That plus Fury, which gives me crit, automatic crit, 50%, well, whatever the percentage is for, for Fury. What is it? Hold on. 30% crit damage, not 50%. Um, basically, gives me more power for Wrath, more Mighty Cleaves, and now Wrath, more Wrath, let's go this way, more Wrath equals more Mighty Cleaves, which equal more cleave damage because of my bracelet. So, more fury, more wrath, more mighty cleave, more cleave damage. All this in one line, this is why I'm going Riftwalk. Um, but the second reason, and the bigger reason of why I'm not going Raven, is because I, I haven't even cleared boss 3 yet. <laughs> so I don't have, one, the materials, two, the gold... And three, the capability of getting boss four. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So let's let's do it this way. See if I can maybe put it up up here somewhere. More fury equals more wrath, which equals more mighty cleaves, which equals more cleave damage. So that's it's more it's more like synergy syner synergistic syn. I like numbers, and that's what's happening. More. Uh, lower lower fury cooldown equals more time for fury and more time for wrath which equals it's just a bunch of equaling stuff you add this plus this plus that plus that and you get this all right that's why i'm going uh i'm making this video because i have been asked a bunch of times and i just want to make a video for you guys so yeah that's my my thing on on rift walk i think that's it right i don't think hi my name is ocd uh, I'll probably be streaming while this is uploading. Mm. You know what? I'm not even going to edit this. This is going to go straight onto YouTube. I'm going to make a thumbnail of just like random pictures. And you guys are going to... Don't worry, be bad. All right? My name is D. Thank you guys all for watching. I love you. Bye. Oh, that's right. There's no fade out. So I love you. Bye. Bye. Watch. I'm fading.